Hey everyone, I'm back with a new Photoshop retouching tutorial and today we're going to be retouching this photo that's up on the screen which was shot in direct harsh natural sunlight. So I'm going to get right into it and head over to my actions panel and press play on my skin retouching action which I actually have available for free download on my website so I'll link that in the description below if you guys want to download and use it for yourself. And if you want a more detailed tutorial on how to create the high and low frequency layers yourself, I also will link that in the description below as I have created a retouching tutorial in the past. So here we have our two frequency layers. This is our low frequency layer, which is basically a blurred version of our original image. And here we have the high frequency layer, which is all the lines, the textures, all the detail in the photo. So the first thing I like to do is retouch on the low frequency layer as I feel like that's where all the retouching magic happens. So I'm going to zoom right in to the photo, just about there, and I'm going to use my healing brush tool. And you want to make sure that your sample is set to current layer. So the point of the low frequency layer is to focus on the colors of the image. So here we're going to be blending in for example, this area, I want to bring up the lighter colors of the area over the models, kind of a little bit dark under eye circles, and we're just basically going to be blending everything out and making things look super flawless. So I like to start in a nice simple area that I've got a lot of space to work with, such as usually the cheek. So I'm going to make my brush a little bit bigger and then hold down the Alt key and sample an area that is quite solid. So I don't want to be sampling, for example, here where there is a super harsh line and then painting over the solid colored area because that's not going to blend very nicely. So if you want to paint around here, you just want to pick an area that looks similar. So we're just going to pick this and start doing tiny little brush strokes over this entire little area here. Now, when you're retouching photos taken in direct harsh sunlight, there are a few things that you need to keep in mind. For example, there are going to be harsh shadow lines. And more often than not, when you shoot in direct sunlight, all the skin texture, all the details stand out so much more than when you shoot a backlit portrait. So I'm just going to keep retouching that in. And every once in a while, I like to sample a new little area just to keep things looking as natural as possible. So when I get to the under eye area, I like to sample this lighter color and with very tiny brush strokes, I start kind of bringing that color out a little bit. And I'm going to hide the high frequency layer for a second so you can see what we're doing in this section here. Sometimes it's easier to retouch this way because you can see the way the colors blend a little bit easier, but I kind of feel like it's bad for your eyes. So I probably wouldn't do this regularly. <laughs> Uh, over the nose as well, I like to make sure I sample right on the edge and then paint on the edge because otherwise it can start looking a little bit jagged. But just going to go ahead and continue. So see how I did that with like the little dark line that stood out a little bit too much. I try to avoid that as much as possible and I go back and kind of blend it out and it's great when you're retouching to zoom in and out constantly just to make sure you're not going too far with your retouching. So now I want to retouch this area here where we have the harsh lines and the colors go from dark to lighter. So I'm going to start by doing this little dark area here. And I just like to continue, continuously sample different areas depending on how the lighting is changing. So as you can see here, it's not all the same. You've got the really dark section here. This one's a little bit lighter. And then here is a different color again. And then here it starts getting lighter. And then this is like the lighter section of the shadowy parts. That just reminds me of the Lion King. Um, so yeah, I like to keep holding, I've got my finger on the alt key pretty much the entire time while I'm retouching and I'm constantly just like sampling, sampling and brushing. I really love using the high and low frequency retouching technique as I find it's not as tedious as doing say dodging and burning as retouching and I also feel like it ends up 
leaving the images looking really natural. You still retain like all that nice skin texture and the image still looks really real. Um, I don't like images that look super, super perfect and airbrushed. It's just not my style. So that's why I really like using this technique. So I'm just moving on to the forehead now. And again, just like constantly sampling and making sure I keep the way the natural light is falling on the model's face. You can even brush over a little bit of the hair sometimes when you're using the low frequency layer. Since the high frequency has all the details, it's not going to blur or hide the hair too much. So it'll still look quite nice. And to retouch, I'm using my Wacom tablet as I don't like to use a mouse. I have been retouching for many, many years and I've always used a Wacom tablet. It's kind of like using a pen. So it's like you're drawing on paper, but it's on your computer screen. And I find that it's just a super natural way of being able to paint and retouch. And I feel like I'm a lot faster when I use a Wacom tablet as well compared to a mouse. So I think that's pretty good for the low frequency layout. I'm just going to show you guys a before and after. So there's the before and there is the after. So as you can see, just by blending in the colors layer, we've made such a big difference on the image already. I think that looks really good. And then I like to zoom out and just double check that it all looks good. And I think it does. So once you're happy with how the retouching looks on the low frequency layer, we are going to move on to the high frequency layer, which is, as I mentioned, all the texture. So when you're working with the high frequency layer, you have to be a little bit more tedious, a little bit more careful when you're retouching compared to the low frequency, um, because if you go overboard with the high frequency, that's when your image can start looking a little bit plasticky, which like we don't want that. Okay, so I'm going to start off maybe with this line here. So I like to zoom right into the face and I make my brush around the same size, just a little bit bigger than what we want to be getting rid of. So I think that will do there. And I like to sample right next to what we'll be getting rid of. So I'll just start here and I just carefully brush over that line and voila, it's gone. <laughs> so I'm just going to do that for all the little... All the little blemishes and marks and things that kind of are standing out because this was shot in harsh sunlight. So if you're trying to use this retouching technique for yourself, don't get frustrated if it doesn't work straight away. Um, all it takes is practice to get the hang of it, to learn where to sample, to learn where to brush, how much to brush, what brush size to use, all that kind of stuff. You just need to keep practicing and you'll get it with time. Um, I'm retouching quite quickly, but that's only because I've been doing retouching for a really, really long time. I even used to do it professionally ages ago. It was actually my first job was as a retoucher. So, oh, I kind of like that little sparkle. I might leave it. Whoops. Yeah, okay, let's zoom out and okay, let's have a look at that. It's looking pretty good. Um... I like to look at the photo from far away to see if there's anything that kind of stands out to me. And I'm kind of noticing these little hairs on her eyebrow a little bit distracting from her eyes because they're so light. So I'm going to go in and try and fix that up on the high frequency layer as well. There we go. And there's also like a little piece of fluff or something. Maybe that was my brush stroke. I don't know. But we'll just get rid of that. <laughs> and I might do a little bit more work here on the nose. And I am pretty happy with that. Let's have a look at a before and after. Before, after. And I'll get nice and close in for you guys. Before, after. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this Photoshop tutorial about the high and low frequency retouching technique. 
Again, like I mentioned, if you want to have this action that automatically creates those high and low frequency layers for you, I'll leave the description in, I'll leave the description, I'll leave a link for you guys to download it in the description down below. And please don't forget to subscribe. I release two new videos a week. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Bye.